cook the milk and the flour in the saucepan over low heat for around 2 to 3 minutes or until it turns into a paste. Tangjong is a type of roux which helps trap moisture for incredibly soft, fluffy buns that stay fresh for longer. Transfer it to the bowl to cool down before it is needed. The tangjong is prepped. Now let's brew the yeast to make sure it's alive and happy. Add sugar and yeast into the warm milk and mix them well. And let it sit on the countertop for about 5 minutes or until you see the mixture appears slightly puffier. Just like that. Add flour, salt, sugar into the mixing bowl. Mix them well then create a well in the center. Then add in egg, bloomed yeast mixture and the tangjong. To achieve that signature fluffy texture in our bolo bao, we need to develop the gluten gently. Let's attach the dough hook to the mixer and knead this dough on low speed, like a gentle massage. Once the dough comes together, we can start incorporating the butter a little at a time. When all the butter is incorporated, turn the mixer to medium speed and continue to knead the dough for a further 3 to 5 minutes. Is our dough ready? Let's see if it passes the window pane test. The thinner we can stretch it without tearing, the stronger the gluten network is developed. Look, the light shines through, which means the dough is perfectly kneaded and ready to transform into delicious pineapple buns. Transfer the dough onto a lightly floured surface. Start pulling and pinching the ends of it to form a smooth ball. Add the dough to a lightly oiled mixing bowl and gently turning it to cover with oil to prevent it from sticking while rising. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Here I place a glass of hot water in an oven to create a warm environment for the dough to rise. This proof may take between 1 and 2 hours. Once the first proof is done, sprinkle some flour on top of it and give it a few good punches to push out some large air bubbles to get the dough ready for shaping. Remove the deflated dough from the bowl to the lightly floured work surface. Start by folding the edges into the center of the dough. Then pull and pinch the ends to form a smooth ball. It takes between 2 and 3 minutes. Uniform size buns are not only for the perfect look, but also the key for even baking. That's why I love using a kitchen scale to weigh out 12 equal pieces. Work on one piece at a time, cover the rest with plastic wrap to prevent them from drying. First, Gently pull the sides of the dough down towards the bottom. Create a smooth surface. Then pinch the seam close to seal it securely. Use your palm as a gentle guide to gradually shape the dough into a smooth ball. You have got a perfectly shaped bun ready for its second rise. Just like that. Place the shaped dough ball onto a lined baking tray and continue to shape the rest of the dough.
Cover them with a tea towel and leave them on the countertop for the second proof until almost doubled in size. Let's whisk an egg to get started. We will start by softening the butter. Use a spatula to mash it until it's smooth and creamy before adding the sugar. When they are well incorporated, use a mixer to beat the mixture until pale and fluffy. To ensure the beaten egg mixes evenly, we will add it in two batches. If the mixture looks like it's curdling, don't worry, it will all be smoothed out with the dry ingredients in a moment. For a touch of extra flavor, let's add vanilla extract to our mixture. Gently sieving flour, baking soda, and salt to help break up any clumps and ensure they are evenly distributed. Fold them in carefully until everything is well mixed. When the dough comes together, transfer it to a floured surface. Use your hands to gently push the dough together and gradually pat into a disc. Use a dough scraper to divide it into 12 equal pieces. Once again, use the kitchen scale for accuracy. Shape each portion into a smooth ball. Then flatten into a 3-inch round with a rolling pin. Use your fingers to gently nudge it into a round shape. Don't worry about perfection, just aim for nice and even. Before adding the toppings, let's incorporate two extra steps to ensure a smooth application. First, separate one egg, the whites to help the topping stay, and the yolks for a beautiful egg wash. Next is to preheat the oven so that we can bake our pineapple buns once they are ready. Our buns have risen beautifully. They are nice and fluffy. Brush the tops of the buns lightly with egg whites. Carefully place one topping dough on the bun and gently press and seal the edges. Lightly brush the topping with a thin layer of the beaten egg yolk to create a beautiful golden brown color and glossy shine once they are baked. Bake them in the preheated oven for around 18 to 20 minutes or until the toppings turn golden brown. Fresh from the oven, the aroma of these buns is simply irresistible. The topping is beautifully cracked and golden, promising a delightful crunch. Inside the soft and fluffy dough practically melts in your mouth, you can almost taste the freshness in every bite. Let's try one. There's nothing quite like a warm, fluffy pineapple bun with a cup of hot coffee. It's a pure, delightful, and satisfying experience. 
These pineapple buns, bolo bao, taste absolutely amazing. That's why they have been a staple in Hong Kong bakeries for decades. You have to try making them at home with this recipe. Let me know how this fantastic recipe works out for you. 